Hello viewers, this is Veto121 and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Hardcore Remix and this is the 100th episode. Who cares, right? <laughs> well yeah, there's nothing too special about this episode, but we are going to be taking on some bosses. And yeah, I just put Mega All on Cloud for whatever reason, I don't really care. Gave him a whole bunch of HP plus materials because I really didn't have anything better to give him, Magic Plus, Speed Plus. And uh, for this particular battle here, I'm going to have Magic Counter and Full Cure on Tifa along with one enemy skill just for shits and giggles because, uh, yeah, I have seven counter attack materials equipped on uh, Tifa here along with long range, a couple luck plus materials that are maxed out, cover that's maxed out. But yeah, I, I w for some reason this trick does not work or Tifa does not counter with Full Cure and Magic Counter if she has more than seven counter-attack materials. I don't know why it happens like that. I think it's a bug in the game, or maybe it's not a bug, I don't know, but all I know is, all I know is, is if you have more than seven counter-attack materials, uh, if you have magic counter-equipped, it will not work. She will not use the spell that she has the, uh, the thing linked to. And like I said, I think it's a bug. I'm not really sure. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be taking on a hack boss in this battle. And as far as counterattack materials, you can get them from the uh, gold saucer, the chocobo races. That's why I have so many of them. And uh, yeah, it's boss time against... What is this guy? What the hell is this guy? Oh, whatever. This guy is... Oh, well, I don't know who he is. Uh, yeah, this guy is also susceptible to, uh, bio as well. Might as well use the Yuffie's Limit Break on him so I can at least find out the name of this guy. I hate that when it says all opponents. It's like, no, give me the name of the fucking enemy. There's only one enemy on the screen. Why are you going to say all opponents? Yeah, this guy is susceptible to poison, so I'm going to try and get that on him. And uh, eventually here, I'm going to start using Hero Drinks and Dragon Force on Tifa. Ow. Why aren't you covering, Tifa? Is there a reason for that? Okay, that's awfully strange. Okay, are you going to cover? Thank you. Anyways, uh, once I get a freaking free turn here when I don't have to worry about healing. Yeah, as you can see, she's doing pretty good damage against them with her limit gauge all the way full. But, come on, can I get a fucking turn please? Yeah, okay. Now I want to start using Hero Drinks on Tifa if I can here. I want to use about five of them. And Hero Drinks, they basically raise all the stats of that character. By a pretty good amount, too. Yeah, as you can see, her, her attack power is definitely better already. Yes, that's what we need. Full cure. And another hero drink. And eventually in this battle, if you don't kill him fast enough, uh, he'll summon another monster to uh, fight alongside himself. Yeah, here we go. This is it right here. Yeah, and I think we already encountered this idiot, this other monster, that black looking shadow like guy. I think we already encountered him like one of the materia caves and I just ran away because yeah, I didn't feel like fighting him at the time. Ooh, you're gonna pay for that. 
Yeah, as you can see, her attack power is awesome now. Hopefully she should be able to take it out. Yeah, it's dead. Alright, good deal. Uh... And she does full cure, which is excellent, of course. Yeah, you don't want to use Tifa's Limit Breaks when you have her in this setup because that will completely nerf her attack power. Forsaken Cosmo something. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I, this magical attack is uh, pretty powerful, actually. Shouldn't be strong, yeah, it shouldn't be strong enough to kill anybody. But yeah, I have uh, magic counter and poison magic on Cloud there, that way you can counter and get poison back on this guy. Also, I have the same thing with Folk here. And Tifa's... Oh, he's just gonna kill it. Okay. <laughs> I guess he does that attack when he gets low on HP, but there you go. Yeah, if you don't use hero drinks, then that battle can probably take forever. And yeah, like I said, if you don't take out that shadow monster he summons fast enough, uh, he can eject characters from the battle, which is extremely cheap. So yeah, that's why I recommend using hero drinks. That way you can pack a little bit more punch. Anyways, for fighting that guy, we get the Typhon Materia, or Typhoon. I think that's just a typo. Yeah, it's Wind Elemental, so... Uh, yeah, I'll probably link that with uh, with somebody's weapon, I guess. Uh, I think there's enemies that are weak to wind in this game, or I think there's quite a few enemies that are weak to wind. So yeah, that might be useful to have linked with elemental on somebody's weapon. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And also, I can I can use it for elemental defense too. I mean, along with my two uh, choco mog materials. But yeah, typhoon's a little bit a little bit more useful to summon than choco mog. So yeah. Alright, and uh, alright, we're going to get out of here, and uh, we're going to head to the uh, Sunken Gilnica, and we're going to try and take out, take out that boss now. Okay, we are here in the Sunken Gilnica, and this is going to be my setup for this battle here. I'm going to have Contain and Magic Counter on Cloud, along with Full Cure and Magic Counter, of course. Quadra Magic and Gravity, because this next boss is actually susceptible to Gravity Magic, so yeah, that should be very, very useful. Basically the same setup I had for Tifa in the last battle, I'm going to use in this battle as well. And yeah, I'm going to use Hero Drinks, of course. And yes, this is the Hades material we're going for now. And who is this guy? Uh, this guy is the... Idia. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, to start with the battle, I'm going to try and use... Uh, Gravity magic on this guy. And uh, yeah, I'll use a couple hero drinks I think on Tifa, that should be useful. Yeah, I might as well use her turn to use a hero drink. Yes, gravity magic and quadra in this battle, very, very useful, of course. As you can see, he's already starting to get low on HP. Okay, well, whatever. Take Yuffie, I don't care. She's got the uh, conformers, so that should do a little okay cage damage. Hey, I have uh, four counter attacks on Yuffie here. And eventually, when this guy gets low enough, he'll, he'll use like an Uber attack on all party members, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, 
Very, very useful there. Hit Tifa. Okay, fine. Don't hit Tifa. Just hit Cloud instead. Yeah, if he hit, if he happens to hit Tifa with that attack, it's pretty much the end for him. Yeah, and this guy also likes to eject characters from the battle, which is very, very annoying. So yeah, you want to kill this guy if you can, as quick as, as quick as you can. I don't know how low he's getting now, but should be getting pretty close. At least I think he was getting close to dying. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Okay, yeah. This is that uber attack that he's about to do, I think. Or, no. He's going to do that again? Okay. Whatever. Quit attacking the wrong character. Good lord, man. I don't know if that ability he uses there restores some of his, some of his HP or not, but very strange. Yeah, he's not wanting to attack Tifa right now, which is really pissing me off. In my test battle, I actually beat him a lot faster. I, I beat him by now, actually. Well, he's got to be getting low on HP. Okay, yeah, he likes to eject characters from the battle, asshole. Okay, finish him! Hopefully this is enough to finish him. Alright, we got him. Yeah, Yuffie got ejected from the battle, but... That's alright. She doesn't need the experience as much as these two anyways, so that's all good. And we get a cauldron for beating him, but yeah, ultimately we get the Hades Materia, so uh... Yeah, that's it. Okay, after that pause break, I backtrack here to Watai, and we should be able to get some items here. Yeah, almost forgot about this part. Yeah, with the Leviathan scales, we can uh, get rid of this fire that's going on in here. Should re reveal a few chests. Alright, we get a weapon that I can't pronounce. I think it's for Yuffie. And let's try coming down here now. Alright, steel as well materia. Basically what this materia is here is I don't know why it's called added steel. But yeah, if you link it with uh, if you link it with, with I think certain magic materia and command materia, uh, you also steal simultaneously. So yeah, this could be definitely useful, especially with double attack, attack all, mime. So yeah, that's pretty good, especially if you want to steal, so uh, there you go. Alright, we are outside of Cosmo Cannon now, and uh, yeah, I did some mastering of materia here, and uh, yeah, I'm going a little crazy with this right now, but that's alright. It, it, it'll definitely pay off for the next area we're going to go to and the, ne and the bosses we're going to be facing. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to get that done before the next episode, and in the next episode of, uh, Final Fantasy VII Hardcore Remix, we will be visiting Bugenhagen to find out what we have to do next, or where we have to go. This is Veteran0121, and I'll see you next time.